Hey everyone, I'm Luke from WeldPro, and today I'm here with part four of the setup series on the MiG-210 LCD. Today we're gonna to be talking about setting up the TIG torch. The MiG-210 LCD is a very capable DC TIG welding machine. The new interactive TIG menu makes setting up and running this process very easy. To get started, let's talk about shielding gas. The included air-cooled torch has a blue hose with a fitting on the end of it. This will thread into the flow meter that came with your machine. You can then install the flow meter on an argon cylinder. Because this coupler is a ball and socket design, you won't need any Teflon tape on this fitting. Simply thread it into the flow meter and tighten it with a wrench. The next step to get the TIG torch connected is to hook up the DINS connector to the front of the machine. When running TIG, we'll be using DC electrode negative polarity. This means we'll need to insert the DINS connector for the TIG torch into the negative terminal on the front of the MiG-210 LCD. We'll tighten this by rotating it clockwise about 90 degrees. The DINS connector for your ground clamp will need to be switched over to the positive terminal on the front of the machine. Be sure to hook your ground clamp to a clean spot on your workpiece. When it comes to TIG welding, having a good ground connection is extremely important. Before we assemble the torch components, let's walk through the menu on the 210 and adjust the TIG options. When entering the TIG setup mode in the menu, you'll be reminded to run 100% argon. You'll then be prompted for an electrode diameter. This is the size of your tungsten, whether you're using 1 16th or 3 seconds tungsten. The tungsten that's included with the 210 package will be a 3 seconds size. If you know your material thickness, the machine will recommend settings that will help you achieve the highest quality weld. If you don't, set it to the maximum and simply run the amperage as you normally would. Now that we're back on our home screen, we can see everything at a glance. Amperage for the TIG process is adjusted using the top right small knob on the face of the 210 LCD. Because this is a lift start TIG process, there is no foot pedal or trigger switch. Next, let's go ahead and install the consumables in our TIG torch. Begin by disassembling your TIG torch. You can leave this collet body installed. The second step is to insert the collet in the back of the torch body so that it seats into the collet body. Because we'll be starting off with a fresh tungsten, we'll use a long back cap. Go ahead and install that long back cap on the back of the torch body, but don't tighten it down all the way just yet. The consumable kit that's included with the 210 LCD will include three different gas cup sizes, a number four, five, and a six. Depending on the depth of your joint or the material you're welding, you might need different size gas cups. For our purposes today, we'll start with the number six gas cup. Go ahead and thread the gas cup over the collet body until it's tight. Don't over tighten it or you'll crack the ceramic. The tungsten that's included with our package is a 3 seconds 2% thoriated tungsten. With our back cap loosened up, we're going to go ahead and insert the tungsten into the collet body. The tungsten should slide in freely and you should be able to tighten the back cap to secure the tungsten in the torch. The last thing we'll do to get set up for TIG welding is to check our gas flow rate. We do this by ensuring our gas bottle is on and we open the gas valve on our TIG torch. This will initiate the flow of gas to the torch and you'll see the flow meter ball move. Use the small brass screw on the flow meter to adjust the flow rate. A good starting point is about 20 cubic feet per hour, so I'm going to go ahead and set it there. When you're done, remember to turn your TIG torch off so you don't waste any gas. Keep your eyes out for our instructional video on TIG welding with the MiG-210 LCD. In this video, we're going to show you how to grind the tungsten and begin welding both with fusion and with filler material. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them under this video or reach out to our friendly customer service team 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. seven days a week. Please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Here at WeldPro, we're committed to releasing the latest tutorials and how-to videos on welding and on your machines. By enabling notifications, you'll be alerted the minute we release the latest content. Thanks again for tuning in, and from all of us here at WeldPro, we can't wait to see what you build with your brand new MiG-210 LCD.